Hello, today I'm going to show you how to activate your King Gamer key that is meant for the GOG Galaxy platform. And this is what it looks like right here when you get to the login screen. This is the platform that you use for the GOG.com website. And first things first is you need to actually download the app. So you go to your browser and you simply search for download GOG. And the first option will, should be something like GOG Galaxy something. Clicking on it brings you to this page. And here you can click on the download GOG Galaxy button that will um, start downloading it. And once that's done and you are, you're able to install it, then you can actually open it and you get this little um, login screen. Here, if you don't have an account yet, you can then create one going to the sign up now option right here, which is going to ask you for a username, an email, and a password. Once you confirm your email, then you should be prompted to actually log into the account. And if you already have an account, a GOG.com account, you should be able to also access this one. So you enter your email address and you enter your password and you submit it. Now we'll just wait a few seconds. And once we're in, we're brought to the home page right here. And this is the simplest way to redeem your code. You simply go here to the top middle section. You see the plus add games and friends. You click on it. And the third option, one, two, three, it says redeem GOG code. So you click on it and you are brought to this little pop-up, which uh, you can enter here your code and it's going to ask you to do a, a CAPTCHA process too. The CAPTCHA can be a little lengthy, so don't get too um, desperate or disheartened if you can't do it right away. It's sometimes a bit difficult. And if you get an error code while entering the code, which is the one that I should be getting right here, then you want to double check on your code on your eShop.KingGamer.com account and make sure that it's being entered correctly. It's very easy to confuse a one or an, and an I or an L, like it says here, or an O and a zero too. It's also easy to miss entire sections or some characters here and there. So always go back to the actual key and make sure you're, being, you're entering it correctly. If you already did it two or three times and you are positive that the key is being entered uh, the correct way and you are still having some sort of issue, then you can find a link on the description below. That's going to bring you to our page where you can reach out to us to help you out. If you're having a, tr a problem with the key, it is very likely that something we can help you out with, so don't worry too much about it. Once your key is accepted, your game will be added to the Owned Games tab. And as you can see, there's also an Installed Games tab, which is the ones that are installed in this particular computer. And these are all the own games that this uh, particular account has. Now when you start downloading a game, if it didn't start downloading uh, automatically, if you click on install, then it will ask you uh, the install settings and whatnot in just a few seconds. And click on it. And you should see a little progress bar appearing somewhere around here, right there. And you also see that another tab showed up here, which is called downloads and this will show you the progress of the actual download. Once that's done, then this game will be moved from the owned to the installed tab. And here you can find your install games, which you can just immediately launch, right? And that's pretty much all there is to it. And I hope this was helpful for you. And I'll see you next time on King Gamer.